What's going on guys? It is Coaster Central here and today I'll be doing my park review of Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. Now this park opened up in 19 1976. It has overall 50 rides. Um and like I'm going to be going through all of this. I'm going to be telling all the categories, talking about them. All the categories are roller coasters, thrill rides, dark rides, family rides, location, theming, park appearance, operations, staff, food, and finally shows. So I'm just going to like talk about them. And then at the end, I'll say an overall score of this park out of 10. So let's start off with the roller coasters. They have 13 roller coasters. And this is probably the best part about Six Flags the Great Adventure. They have a fantastic coaster lineup. Like, they have coasters like Bizarro, one of the best wooden coasters you'll ever ride. Wait, I mean, El, Tor uh, El Toro, <laughs> one of the best wooden coasters you'll ever ride. King to Call, the tallest roller coaster in the world and the fastest in North America. Nitro, a great B&M hyper. And some other depth. Like, And you also have like the best, one of the best B&M coaster lineups with, like, my Nitro and like Batman the Ride or Bizarro. So, so they have thirteen roller coasters and overall they also have some kid coasters, which are pretty nice and some good family rides, family coasters. So I just love these roller coasters here. Definitely best part of the park. So next we have thrill rides. They don't really have that many thrill rides. I mean they have like the Sky Screamer. And, um, I forgot the other, other thrill ride was, but they have two thrill rides, not too good. Um, I mean, and for net, like, I mean, I'm glad they're adding, in 2018, they're adding Cyborg Cyberspin, first of its kind, which is gonna be really nice. Um, so next category is dark rides, they don't have any dark rides. Next is family rides, they have around 30 family rides, 35 family rides. Um, that's a... That's pretty good. I mean, for family rides, 35, that's pretty average for a park. So, I mean, those are some pretty good family rides. I mean, I rode some of them, and they were really fun. So, next we have location. This is actually a pretty good location, even though it's in Jackson, New Jersey. You are, like, it is, like, squished in between two huge cities, New York City and Washington, D.C. It attracts a lot of people from um New York City and of course a lot of people from Washington DC but I mean the park I mean around like it's kind of connect it's connected to the New Jersey Turnpike Turnpike which is right next to it I mean and even though it is like kind of in the middle of nowhere but it is like located in between two big cities so next we have theming not too good for theming it's your Six Flags Park I guess the theming could be ads Ads would be a good theme for it. Um, <laughs> that's kind of funny. But, um, I mean, I mean, it's fine. I wouldn't say it's too over the top. Probably one of the worst. So, next we have Park Appearance. They have a, they are not, they do not have a good park appearance at all. I mean, some areas of the park are pretty nice. I mean, around, like, the, um, area where the mine train is. And, like, where you can get that view of King Ka behind El Toro. And El Toro behind the mine train. <laughs> and it kind of like, and where Bizarro is. That's a pretty nice area. But the rest of the park kind of like, it's kind of like caged, like caged. I don't know why. It's just Six Flags Park. Not too good of a park appearance at this park. So next we have Operations. Because this, since this is one of the big, biggest Six Flags parks, they got to have like a great Operations. And they do. Most of them, they're running two to three trains, even though there are stacking. Um... Which is where you get stuck on the break room because they're moving a little slow. The dispatches are a little slow, but they are running like two to three trains, which is pretty nice. I mean, like the roller coasters like Nitro are running three trains, and like Canada Cobb, maybe probably a little more than three trains, probably four. But I mean, this operations are just really good. One of the best operations you'll ever have in any park. So next we have the staff. I did not. Well, I I had a really I really do like the staff. The staff are really good when I went there. I mean, they help, like, when you wanted to find something, which well, sure, I actually didn't put, like, I saw some other people wanted to help you find something, and they just went and helped you out. 
it was really nice. Um, so operation, I mean, staff is pretty good. So next we have food. I only got to eat French fries. That's the only thing I ate, and they were good, I guess. So that was the only thing I ate, but I would expect them to have good food. The fries are really good. But next we have our last category, which is shows. They do not, like, since they're removing, like, a, a show and putting in the Joker, it kind of, like, put down their shows. But, like, the shows are fine. I mean, they don't really have that many shows anymore. But it's 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 good shows. But, so, for our overall score of Six Flags Great Adventure, one of the best Six Flags park, parks, I will give this park, out of ten, a nine. One of the best Six Flags parks. I mean, if you're in the, like, the New York, Washington D.C., New Jersey area. You gotta go to this park if you're like, if you wanna go. I guess, but uh, you gotta go to this park. One of the best parks you'll ever visit. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.